on for variables. Yeah, so mm. let's jump across firstly. So Python, what is it? It's kind of a fancy calculator at the very base of it. So I've just written, so this here is our uh, Python, uh, IPython notebook, sorry, Jupyter notebook is the current cool name for it. And what does it do? It's a fancy calculator. So I can just do things like one plus one. I can run that. I'm going to select my Python interpreter and then it will run, it will run. And it will show here that one plus one is in fact two. We could add some more things. Convention when writing Python to have some spaces around your operators. Um, we could change those to be other things. I'm going to hit run. Get eight. Uh, what else can we do? We can you do all your normal operators and things. So you can do multiplication, which is this star sign. So we get 12. We can also do non-integer numbers. So you could have uh, 1.45 divided by 2.4. Let's see what it comes out as. So we get, you know, our floats, as we call them in Python. Uh, we can do minus, of course. We can also do multiple lines of multiple things. So four times two, whoops, no brackets yet, minus one. So just your regular kind of math things. Uh, we could also chuck in some brackets. So this will take care of your order of operations for you. But if you want to you know, overwrite that as you often do, just like you might do in Excel, you can use your brackets or as you might do when your scientific calculator and you get that. So two plus four, six times five, 30. You could even do like things like squaring something or, you know, whatever you want to the power of. So you do by using this double star sign. So those are some of your math things that you can do, regular things. But why, why is it better than a calculator? Well, you can do other things like adding words together. So let's say cat plus dog and I'll run that dog excellent that's a flashback to the what 90s of tv show you could also multiply things so you know have a think what might this do that's going to give you cat 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 um or something like this now times let's say eight plus that man yeah Oops, we want a space in there because there's nothing space in for us. No, 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 Batman. Uh, yeah, so just a few options there. Uh, for things you can do with strings, and sometimes these could be useful, like adding two strings together if you wanted to print something out, like someone's name and a welcome message, that makes sense. I don't often have you know, needs for multiplying strings, but just very occasionally you'll want to do some sort of like quirky display. So let's say something like this. And you're like, oh, I don't want to have to type out 20 of those. Oops. I'm going to put that in quotes. Here we go. And you'll get a beautiful display like this. So you can pat this out and make it all different kinds of shapes. Uh, but, you know, Occasionally, you'll be like, yes, that is exactly what I need. I need to multiply a string. If you're in the comments and you have a reason that you normally multiply strings that I can't think of, please do drop us a, a question, uh, not a question, a comment, so we can uh, talk about that together, of like why that's actually useful. But yeah, other than, you know, doing a beautiful name display like this, maybe you're making a game of tic-tac-toe and you want to make like a nine by nine grid and then like adding these lines to make your cross lines, really helpful. That's really the only uh, useful thing I can think of that I have actually done and I taught to some kids how to make tic-tac-toe. Uh, so we've got some things you could do with Python like that. There's also lots of other things which we won't go into details of how they work today, but you can do things like use car in carpet. Quick run, it'll tell us it's true. Is um, bike in carpet? No, it's not. So we can check that things are in there and do all kinds of what we call Boolean logic, which we'll cover a little bit more of next week if you join us for our branching endeavors. So we've got a few options of 
just random things we could do, but why on earth would we want to do any of these things? Well, they all come together to make something bigger. And these are just kind of some of the basics that under the line you can sprinkle in uh, that you can start to build on top of. Thank you.